up from the 36 chambers. Buddy of the groom, search for multiple idiots. Episode 36, the Wu-Tang, Jerome Bettis, 36 chambers. Shannon Knoll on the show today. Fantastic. They have a new web series on OTV called Just Call Me Ripley. It's uh, very funny. It's fantastic. Since recording uh, the episode, I watched all of them. They're only about five minutes long. I think there's seven or eight of them, and they're fantastic. Go watch them. They're very funny. Get into it. If you are enjoying the show, I appreciate it. Tell your friends. Tell your parents. Tell your cousins. We're helping. We're trying to get me some dang groomsmen. We're trying to get me some people to stand up there and look at my ass while I get married. And I want to thank you guys for listening and being on this journey with me. We got some new reviews on iTunes. And as I say every time, if you if you write a review, I'll read it on the I'll read it on the dang air. I don't care. You can make me say whatever you want. One guy said I had uh, gonorrhea. That was rude. It's not even true. But here's one. We got a new one. This is from Far Vegas. So, so, so good. Four so's. That's a lot of so's. Mike is the best. That's the whole review. That's all you got to do. Put that on. I'll read it. Five stars. We're good to go. We're, uh, we're walking down the street hand in hand on our journey to find me some dang groomsmen. Little bit of a shift this week. I need to focus. This is 35 episodes in. I'm over 35. I need to focus more on actual groomsmen activities, actual wedding details. And that's what we're going to start focusing on. That's what we're going to get into. That's the guts we're going to get into. Sure, we'll talk about, oh, what was it like to do comedy in a nudist colony? Oh, hey, remember that one time we went to a bar and then that one guy said that one thing and then we all cracked up and pissed our pants. Yeah, we'll get into that. Yeah, we'll get into that. But I need some more details. I need to ask some more wedding ass questions. And that's what we're doing. That's what 36 is all about. We're starting off 36 Chambers on the right foot. And this is a great episode to do it. So throw us a five-star review. Share the show on the social media. Follow me on social media. I'm at the Mike O'Keefe. I'm damn glappy to I'm damn glappy to have you. I'm glam dappy to have you. You sons of bitches. <laughs> and this weekend I'm with uh Ricardo Flanagan, one of my bestest friends in the entire world, one of my favorite comics. And it's very rare that you can say that about one of your really good friends that they're one of your favorite comics. But god damn it, Rick is. He's so funny. Uh and it is my pleasure and honor to uh to take a step back from headlining and open for Ricardo at the Comedy Castle this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in Royal Oak, Michigan. If you're in the Metro Detroit area, you do not want to miss me and Pretty Ricky. It's going to be a great weekend. Come see us at the Comedy Castle. I'll have koozies. I'll be having fun. Follow me at the Mike O'Keefe. Follow the show at Multiple Idiots. Let's find me some groomsmen. Garn Flabbit. All right, here's the show. Here we go. <laughs> Shannon, what's up, buddy? Yo, hey, Mike, what's hey, up? Hey, Shannon. Hey. I'm in a flirty mood. Are you in a flirty mood? I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not in a flirty well, mood. I can't fine. meet you. Listen, in- this is 2019. If you're not in a flirty mood, you don't have to pretend to be in a, th- in a flirty mood. Yeah, I can pretend to or be in whatever kind of mood I want. Flirty mood. <laughs> you flirty mood. I'm not a flirty mood. Don't make me be flirty mood. You yeah, man. So, uh, thank you for being here. Yeah, Yo, thank I you so much for having me. Thank you so much for having me. Listen. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, We're yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm in a confrontational mood. Yeah, now it's... <laughs> you it went so quickly from being like, hey, Shannon, to, what, what are you doing? Do you want to fight? We, fight? Take a fight. <laughs> if, I, if, if we fight and I win, can I be the best man? Oh, that's good. That's a... Okay, all right. Well, this is episode 36. This is going to be the episode where everything changes. This is now an audio fight. That's... Dope. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm about to fly across this table at you. Yeah, here we go. Uh, ah! Ah! Punching. This ah! is what punching ah! sounds like. Oh. Oh. I won. Yeah, you kicked my ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. Yes. Weddings. You ever been to one? Uh, Yeah, I've been to a wedding. How, how would you feel about it? How would I feel about what? How did you feel about how it? Did- <laughs> How would you feel about it if you had gone to a wedding? <laughs> if in the I past? had gone to a wedding, how would I feel about it? Yeah. 
Uh, I guess I would feel like I'd been to a wedding. Yeah. I guess I would have wasted about five hours of my time. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I always forget to buy gifts for weddings. That's the thing. I've, uh, it's a year. You get a year now, apparently. I don't know whose rule that was. Well, I like it. And I always I let <laughs> wait the whole year and then let them forget that I didn't buy them a gift. Here's what I do. I wait the year and then I wait five more years. That's what I do. That's good. Yeah. That's very for, uh, future thinking of you. It is. Yeah. It is. I'm progressive in that way in yeah. that I shun material things, but I do say crystal prayers for the married couple. Well, that's the new thing to do. Yeah. What would you, this show is going to be more questions about marriage based going forward because us, the community, the collective, we, we need to find me some groomsmen. I'm over 35. That's a bad record. That's bad. I feel like that's on you a hundred percent. Probably. Cause you could just choose anybody. I really, <laughs> I really could. Does it matter that much? Not like really. how much interaction do you have to have with them? Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. Not really. No. Yeah. It don't matter that much. Just choose somebody. I asked my just dad. Just choose me. I, you asked, what'd you say? I asked my dad uh, when he was still alive. Uh, I said, "Who was who stood up at your wedding?" And he said, "I think my brothers." <laughs> that was his answer. He thinks he thought he his brother. I go- think it was my brothers. Yeah. <laughs> See. Yeah. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't like matter. A big thing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean. But yeah. I could ask you. You could ask. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. It doesn't yeah. matter, but do ask me. <laughs> Do you want to be one of my groomsmen? Yes. Oh, great. Yeah. Show's over. I only want to because I want to win. <laughs> You're incredibly competitive. A little bit. Yeah. What What things have you competed at to things in the past? <laughs> have I? Um, it can, uh, I'm such a great fucking interviewer. No, this God is great. I'm, I'm like Larry this. King or Charlie Rose. Yeah. Just a real <laughs> regular uh, Bernadette Peters. Bern- <laughs> I, if I am anything, I am the love interest from the jerk. Yes. That is uh, who I am. God damn it. She's the star. <laughs> is it, do you really feel that way? I believe that she's the star of any movie she's in. She is. Here's my thing about Bernadette Peters. Uh, she's fantastic, and I have a secret crush on her. Why is it secret? Because uh, society tells us that we should have crushes on different Ladies. Uh, not on not on Bernadette Peters? Not on Bernadette Peters. I feel like she's a very crushable woman. They I feel like that's okay. It's all these classic people. You need to have a crush on Jennifer Aniston, Kim Kardashian. Well, you can have Tia crushes Carrere on them. Tia Carrere from Wayne's World. Yeah. Bridget I mean, Wilson from Happy Guilt from Billy Madison. You know what? I just got asked the other night who my favorite Billy or my favorite Adam Sandler love interest was. Oh wow, that's not a bad question. It's not a bad question. It also was like, oh, Adam Sandler doesn't treat women very well in his movies. Mm-hmm. But not also, at all. <laughs> which one would you choose? Mm, man, that's a good question. Who who did you choose? Is it Veruca Balk? Which is the oh, one from, from the Water Boy? Yeah, yeah, Veruca Salt. <laughs> Veruca Salt. There you yeah. go. That's yeah. not bad at all. She's great. She showed me her boobies, and I loved them, too. That's she showed us all the, her boobies. She showed us all her <laughs> boobies. And you know what, Veruca? We love them, too. We do. I think mine, uh, from that mo- from that same movie, Kathy Bates is mine. That's my favorite one. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> he loved his mama. He loved his mama, <laughs> and his mama. she loved alligators. <laughs> she really did. Man, can we talk about a movie that could not be made now? Yeah, oh, my God. Not, well, like... I, if you look at his earlier films, welcome to Sandler Talk, by the way. Yeah. Uh, my new podcast is about Adam Sandler and all the ladies he pretended to make out with. Yo. Uh, you can't make any of them. You no. Know? There's a, he made a movie. Get this. He made a movie where him, as a 20-something-year-old man, routinely uses drugs and alcohol, hangs out with kids all day. Yeah. That oh, whole yeah. movie is him hanging out with kids. You drunk. Drunk. But hammered. <laughs> hammered. Yeah. 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 Can't do that. Yeah. You couldn't make that movie anymore. Barley's probably all hopped up on greenies driving the bus. You can't do that. Yeah. I mean, can't you just that. like any of those movies. What are? Yeah. Like uh, a I man mean, who sings at a wedding. No thanks. That is <laughs> okay. Now we're back to wedding talk. <laughs> now, how would you feel about? Are you going to have a wedding singer? Here's the thing. That's yeah. one of the questions. And we're going to get into it right now. Uh-huh. Wedding band? Would I be yeah. the band? Would, yeah. Do you want to be the Dick Van Dyke one-man band at my wedding reception? Yes. <laughs> if, I have always wanted to have a harmonica on a wire around yeah. my face and a step drum. <laughs> I'm glad someone finally put a name to it. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think you have to go band. One of the questions I ask, and I'll ask you it right now, 
What are your DJ no nos and DJ yes pleases? Oh boy, uh, you know what? I We're- hate dancing. <laughs> I hate it. So if you could just put on slow songs the whole I time, hate I hate it. I oh, won't wow. make you dance at your own wedding. I love dancing. You love it. Oh, well, oh, then in that it. case, I'll let you d- take up the whole dance floor. I won't take one inch of it. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. But the answer to DJ no nos and DJs yes pleases is get a band. Is that the answer? That's the answer. That's the answer. That's okay. the answer. Get Bands a dang band. Bands are so expensive, right? What's the uh, unless you get a shitty band? Oh yeah, we're gonna get a very shitty band. Nice. Uh, they I saw them this weekend. They were called uh, Rolling Stones. I'm gonna get them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I've heard that's the shittiest band. They're a bunch. They're a bunch of old fucks. Yeah. What they Which ones? How much do you think it would be to get the Rolling Stones? Oh, uh, the Rolling Stones don't leave their house for less than fifty million dollars, probably. Yeah. But I think if you get like a mid level classic rock band like the band America. Yeah. I think you could probably get them for 50000 Nah, probably like uh, probably $200,000. You can get America. America? Yeah, I feel like America yeah. could still make some cash. Like, they're still... Yeah. They could still tour. On a party with a horse with no name. We're called America. Congrats on your wedding. <laughs> I love all the, the era of bands that were just named after locations. It's the... Be- Kansas. Kansas. Chicago. Here's a fun fact about Kansas. It's more of a fun fact about me. Uh, when I was a little kid... You know, Carry On, Wayward Son? Yeah. But I thought it was Gary, You're No Wayward Son. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That yeah. is a real mishearing. Oh, yeah. That's not like a casual one. Gary, you're not a wayward son. You're Gary. a great son. <laughs> Gary. Gary. Mal used to think, uh, my beautiful uh, girlfriend Mal used to think that in Beck's Loser, uh-huh. he was saying, so open the door. Because I'm a loser, baby. Losers need to the you know door. What? He's honestly, such a loser, he can't open the door for himself. <laughs> it's amazing. Honestly, I, uh, I don't listen to the lyrics to songs, so that could be very true. Well, it's uh, the, you're, you know what? Good for you. Good for you for admitting well, yeah. it. <laughs> when I was in high school, I uh, wanted to be cool like my friends, so I listened to, I was like, I'm going to listen to Flogging Molly because everyone's into Flogging Molly. <laughs> so I went to FYE. And Did I, you go to uh, the high school that I went to in my head? It probably. Uh, cool. Is that what it, <laughs> I, lo- I love Flogging Molly to this day. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people say, ah, the record's not good anymore. I think they're still great. Go on. Sorry. Well, anyway, I wouldn't know because I went to FYE and bought what I thought was a Flogging Molly CD, listened to it every night for a month. Had my friends over for a sleepover, and I was like, I've been listening to this dope Flogging Molly CD. I turned it on, and they go, that's Flock of Seagulls, you dumbass. <laughs> they had misplaced a Flock of Seagulls CD in the Flogging Molly section, and I didn't know the difference. This is a very serious question. Did you know how to read at that point? <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I failed out of high school. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, Good yeah, for yeah. you. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you about that. Uh, how? How? Why? Uh, I just stopped going. I, yeah. After freshman year, I realized I could just not go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm done. That's so awesome. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I'm a professional comedian now. I got a B minus in perf- in uh, public speaking my senior year of high school. <laughs> Wow. And my well, that mom- shit's bullshit anyway. Oh, it's garbage. They're like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. You, are you from at- the Midwest? Yeah, I'm from right outside Detroit. So yeah. they have all that forensic stuff out here? Yeah. We never had that out east. We didn't. Um, are you from Connecticut? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh, That's out east. Out east? Well, it's as east as you could get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think is out east? Uh, Nantucket? China. China. <laughs> You know, yeah. The Far East. That's yeah. as easy as you can go. Yeah, that's where Martha Stewart easy, is from, I heard. That's as easy as you can go before you're back in the West. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just keep going. You keep going. Well, you go, you fall, as soon as you fall off that part of the earth, because it's flat, you pop yeah. up on the other side. So Clearly. Regeneration. I wouldn't know. I didn't finish high school. <laughs> now, this is, uh, this is going to sound very stereotypical of me. Mm-hmm. Since you didn't finish high school, do you believe that uh, – do you believe any crazy things? Oh, like conspiracy stuff? Yes. I want to so bad. So I can't I. get into it. I can't. So do I. I do you? The only one that I uh, that I kind of believe is that uh, William Shakespeare didn't write anything. I mean, yeah. That he really – I I believe that Shakespeare wrote like maybe like 
thirty percent, and he had just had like a team. I could believe that. Yeah, like a cottage industry. Shakespeare's an asshole. He's a dick. He's a dick. He's I don't. A big, like, dumb I don't dick. care. You could. Make, I'd make up any stories about Shakespeare. I heard. Get this. Yeah. I want to tell you something about Shakespeare yeah. that I heard. Definitely didn't just make it up just now. Uh huh. This, this is tell Shakespeare me. facts. Okay, tell me. Three fingers on his left hand. Wow. Yeah. You think you could write The Tempest with three fingers on his fucking left hand? No way. No, no way. effing way. We know in the 1600s, everybody held pens with both their hands. Yeah. They so like if he, <laughs> <laughs> you needed all 10 fingers for that. You needed all 10 of those digits, Now, baby. unless he had an extra two fingers on his other hand, there's no way he was going to write those plays. <laughs> And let me tell you something about Shakespeare. Yeah. He didn't. Yeah. He only had one extra finger on his other hand. So he's missing one whole finger. Yeah. Yeah. No way. He didn't <laughs> yeah. write those plays. He didn't plays. write shit. He didn't write shit. He didn't write shit. At no way. best, he was a, he was a, he was, a, we, there's a term for it today. It's called an aggregator. That's what I think Shakespeare was. He was like an early Google. He was an early Google. Yeah. He wrote for WrestleZone.com. That's a wrestling aggregator. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm bored. Shakespeare. (laughs) I hated to bring you back to entertain me to to high school. Yeah, don't. (laughs) Uh, But what's what's, Shakespeare? He was married. What if I get married? And Mal, leading up to the wedding, cries. How how would you how would you console a crying lady? Okay, I'm catching up. "Ah." I'm catching up with you here. All right. She's like, oh my my dress is. Dumb. I don't know. Yeah, that's what people cry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would be like, uh, well, you know what? Mike can't see your dress right now, so you don't even know if he doesn't think it's dumb or not. So you better show it to him when you get on out there. Now get. And then I'll chase her down the aisle. <laughs> you like, you uh, you white fanger. You yeah. call the wilder. Yeah, yeah, Go yeah. On. That's a literary reference. I apologize. Sure, I don't read <laughs> I don't read, so I just have to believe what you say. Yeah, well, the, uh, I'm just gonna keep bringing up sweet books like the the Jumping Jack. Something. That you can't even think of a book. I can't. What grade did you finish? All of them. All of them. Great. I didn't miss a goddamn thing. You really did. Nice. Uh, let me ask you, how was your debt situation? My debt. Uh, well, you know. Sounds like a wash. Uh, <laughs> we don't know because we can't do math. Uh, uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah, I, I got a creative writing degree. You're fine. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're I did go to college. Fine. I went to Columbia College. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. They don't require uh, anything. 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 I my the guy the, the what I was going to say intake officer. That's not right. <laughs> intake officer. <laughs> you got Columbia College was great. I uh, was only allowed to leave my cell for an hour a day. And, and uh, you know what? <laughs> got some great muscles in the yard. Um, <laughs> They, uh, yeah, he, the guy who was, uh, interviewing me was like, uh, he, I was the only person he ever met with a lower high school GPA than he had. Whoa. Mine was 0.02. Holy shit. And his was 0.06. Good for both of you guys. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, man, here's my question. Mm -hmm. How does he get that job? I don't know. That's amazing. I know, right? What a huckster. Yeah, he really, he really had it. (laughs) Yeah. So anyway, I can, uh. Teach you how to be at Columbia College. I can uh, do art for you. Uh, <laughs> what did you? What what kind of art did you do at Columbia? Oh God, theater arts. Ooh, yeah. Did some acting. Some uh, tried. To, they tried to make me do Shakespeare. I was like, no. That guy only had three fingers. <laughs> I ain't doing that motherfucker shit. Me out of here. He didn't write any of it. He didn't write that. That old. That old bitch. Also, tweet at us. Uh, Shakespeare is an old bitch. Hashtag yeah. that, and we'll. Appreciate it. But acting, that acti- those acting classes have led to something beautiful now. Your web series. Yeah. Talk about it. What's it called? Thanks. What's the premise? Is it out? It is out. I did. Uh, I, made a, I made a web series called Just Call Me Ripley, and it's on a platform called OTV, uh, formerly Open Television. It's uh, this great... Uh, it's this this great uh, intersectional platform that's based out of Chicago, and they uh, support and like uh, sort of like foster young um, filmmakers and uh, uh, people whose stories aren't usually told. Um, and each season, they release like a series of web series in the in the springtime, and mine was one of them. That's awesome. 
Yeah. That's awesome. How So they're all available now. They're all available. They're free on the OTV's website. Uh, yeah, it's seven episodes. They're only about five minutes each, so you can blow through them. If you got no attention That's- span like me, you can get right through them. Uh, yeah. This is catering to the high school dropout. Yeah, ain't this is no the Shakespeare. First, I'll tell you this why. This is the first web series for and by the high school dropout. Yes, uh, you don't have to pay attention for more than five minutes. If you, let me tell you, hypothetically, if I wanted to put something on while I had my phone on, and this is great press for your show, by the way, would this be good for it? Wait, what? I I stop paying attention. (laughs) (laughs) What's it, what's it about? It's about, uh, it's a coming out story. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's kind a, of a, a autobiographical a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. like loosely based on, um, loosely based on my own coming out story. Um, but it's supposed to be like a coming out story without all the tears because we get so many coming out stories that are just like cry fests. Oh my God, yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, this one's like, you can laugh. My uh, my cousin Sam uh, came out uh, as trans, I want to say two or three years ago. And at the time, it's super emotional, and I was, like, the only person in our family who knew, and I kind of, like, stood up for him and was like, hey, this is still, it's still our, you know, it's still our cousin, it's still, you know, your nephew. Uh, And then now, all he wants to do is laugh about it. Like, it's just jokes, and there just isn't that thing out there where it's like stasis comedy does that make sense like it's like yeah it, you're like hey we're just here now and now it's just time to be funny right does that I mean, make sense yeah. totally i yeah. think it's also like um yeah and and i feel like so much of the time um because when i was growing up the only thing i'm also trans this story is about coming out as gay but we don't know where the character will go next seasons oh so, my god you know look at that cliffhanger look at, yeah just look keep at that on. cliffhanger look at that. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, like, when I was a kid, the only movie I had that I ever related to was Boys Don't Cry. Oh, my God. And One I was, like, brutal fucking movies. Fucking brutal. And I was, like, brutal. oh, God, there's a character. This is what everyone feels like when they watch a movie about somebody that they relate yeah. to. And then he gets just murdered. Yeah. And I was, like, Christ. well, great. Yeah. So <laughs> I wanted to make something that was, like, not that. Yeah. That's awesome. And that, like, there's so many, you know— I, I little sp- like every comedy is about a guy like me who's just like ah farts and chits and then I get the girl right <laughs> yeah and I think it's time s- someone else had that their time and to honest- say farts and chits and then get the girl or boy or whatever so a little Easter egg every yeah. episode of Just Call Me Ripley has a fart in it hell yeah and that is not a joke that is true it that truly has a fart in it listen. This is what America needs. <laughs> this is this is the this new is, Adam Chandler movies. <laughs> this is a new front. We are going to have a show with an LGBTQ plus protagonist, and they will fight. Buy, not, buy, not because it is easy, but because it is funny. Make sure to buy your wool bonds. <laughs> <laughs> Paint a hot lady with big old taters on the front of your jet. <laughs> oh man, it's up for grabs now. <laughs> Who I started doing Mayor Quimby from The Simpsons, and it became absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I was thinking it was Roosevelt, but I, but I don't know. No, I no. don't know. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever listen to a recording of Eleanor Roosevelt? No. She had the craziest ass voice. What did it sound like? She was like, oh. <laughs> oh it's like so high pitched. She was constantly getting scared. Yeah. It <laughs> there was, was just like- always a bug going over her feet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she sounded like. She sounded like an old lady, like, rolling on the floor. (laughs) Which is what old ladies love to do. Love to roll on the floor. Listen, if you ever see an old lady with a busted-ass hip, just just go up to her and be like, hey, Midge, stop rolling, baby. God, Midge, Midge Midge. Midge, Midge is always breaking her hip. Midge. Midge, get off the floor. Get off. Listen, Midge, we got you the walker for a reason. I don't want to use it. Listen, Midge, no! Midge, I'm worried about you, all right? I love the floor. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> Midge, I'm not saying you're drunk, but you're you're drunk. Come on, Midge. I, I took a pill. <laughs> Give me my pill. What kind of pill was it? The kind. <laughs> yeah, it was Oxy. And scene. And scene. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Let me ask you this, though. Wedding time comes. Mm-hmm. Sam's there. What's uh? She she asked you for an autograph. Or he shit. Sorry. Uh, he asked you for an autograph. What do what, what do you say? Uh, I guess I I guess I'd give it. Do you want you know what I'd be like? I'd be like, 
Sam, you don't want my autograph. You want the groom's autograph. <laughs> your cousins, who you've known your entire life. Yeah, I'd be like, Sam, here's Mike's autograph. And then I would forge your signature. Are you ready to be the the fart comic of this community? Oh, my God. Yes. yes. I've been ready. I can't. I love wait. farts. Farts are the funniest. I, I, I see next year at Pride, you're going to have your own float. And at the at the front of it is going to be a butt. Yeah. And the rest of it, just wind. Oh, God, that's so oh, good. That's what would be, okay, so the butt, but now the butt, if it's got wind behind it, it's got to have, it's like a severed butt. Yeah. So what's the front of the butt look like? Both. Both? Both. Just both? Both. Now, I feel like that would piss off some intersex people. Ah, they think that, here's what I think it should be. Yeah, please tell me, because I don't know. I think it should it's just not, be. It's not, it's not my, pr- I go, I support I, I I shouldn't be involved no, you, in I mean, float decoration. That's true. As yeah. a straight person, you should yeah. leave the farts to the gays and, that, and the trans people. Um, <laughs> what I think you, should you be- heard it here first. Straight people, no more farting. Straight, cis, white men, keep those buttholes closed. You're not allowed Go to on. fart. You've taken up all the farts. I'm You've done. taken up too much space with your farts. Uh, give my, the farts to everybody else. I tell you what, my butthole for a long time has been talking, and now it's time for it to listen. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Open your butthole and listen. <laughs> So I think on the front <laughs> should just be an open butthole. Oh, so it's two butts? Yeah. Oh, I love it. And then and then I there's just it. music blaring out of the front butthole. Yeah. Like a like a pounding bass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just then, imagine that coming out of a front butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I mean, so it's just like it's just like two butts coming down the street on wheels. Yeah, I think it's great. <laughs> I think this is going to get us some uh, some great feedback. Mm-hmm. And by feedback, I mean dollars for our float. Yeah. We're going to start our GoFundMe yeah. for our double butt fart float. And here's the thing. We could give that money to a wonderful charity. Yeah, I'd love to give it to the Trevor Project. I would love to just like— Love to give it to Trevor P. Would love to, uh, yeah. <laughs> would love to put that money towards housing homeless teens. Love it. Um, you know, absolutely. Uh, donate to us. <laughs> God, now I feel like I'm going to get trolled. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get a Jezebel article written about me. Shannon Noel wanted to be a fart comic. <laughs> but what she ended up being. Hey. What the shit? Sorry. Listen. Look, you're trying I'm and trying I get it. So Look, hard. that's all right. I'll tell you what. I'll tell please, you what. Please. For your wedding, yeah. uh, I, I will wear a suit so you know what to call me. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. It. <laughs> Here, Here's, uh, and I, I've been accused of this so many times is when I'll have someone on the show who I know uh, uses a, a they, them pronoun, I will say to them uh, before I bring them up, hey, they, them, right? And they'll go, yes, thank you. And then in their intro, I will say they a million times. Yeah. Like almost to prove it. <laughs> like they are fantastic. They are very funny. They run a great show. They are the best. Ladies and gentlemen, they. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's uh yeah. it's one of my favorite things to watch people like struggle with it. Yeah. The thing is, here's the thing. Yeah. I I it's like so whatever. Like people, if you make a mistake and correct it, I don't give a shit. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. It's like when people are like purposely doing it. You know what I mean? That's a very different. That's situation. very different. Yeah. I also yeah. have started to allow myself to delight in the struggle that people have bringing me up on stage. Yeah. Where, like, uh, someone brought me up the other night and was like, they are very good people. <laughs> I was like, what the? F-? <laughs> what the? F- what are you talking about? I was like, yeah, you yeah, got it. And then you ruined it. <laughs> you just ruined it. <laughs> like, everyone's going to think an improv team is yeah. coming up. <laughs> and, but a lot of people don't know this. You are four rascals inside a giant hoodie. <laughs> I've been trying to tell people I'm tall. Yeah. <laughs> just four tiny little rascals. Yeah. Dorking around. We're trying to make a tree house. <laughs> give us your money. <laughs> Trevor you, Project. But you got to give it, give it right to the Trevor Project. Uh, well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Do you feel you like wearing a suit? I love wearing a suit. It's a, it makes me feel like a million fucking bucks. It's great. I got to get I one. I have there. never gotten one tailored, so I have to like. It's a whole new world. Yeah. To quote Disney's The Lion King. Nope. Nope. <laughs> to quote Disney's Flubber, yeah. it's a whole new world. <laughs> That's Little Mermaid, right? Uh, 
Uh, which which no, one's it's Aladdin. Aladdin. Fuck. Listen, you know what? I have with these couple with these couple pronoun botches and that Disney flub. I am really pissing off the community. You are <laughs> you apologize. are messing it up. And there, if there's something that gays like more than their pronouns, it's the uh, man. I just <laughs> <laughs> look at. I'm working on it too, you know. Yeah, it's we're all doing our best. We're all figuring it out. And I'm just, uh, I think the biggest thing as a cis uh, hetero uh, white guy who's uh, very straight and looks like I do is uh, just, just be honest and try not to be a dick. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like uh, we're all figuring it out together. For and, sure. Yeah. For yeah. sure. And we were on, t- and you know, we were on top for. Uh, <laughs> A billion years, and uh, it's time to step back and, uh, you know. I need to get some, get some space in there. Yeah, enjoy the spotlight. I'm in it. Now, let me ask you this question. Please. As I will be your only groomsman, <laughs> uh, will I get my own dressing room? Yes. Great. Yeah. Okay. That's hypothetical. We haven't, yeah. I haven't made the call yet. Yeah. Uh, I did ask you, but it was because it was prompted. Yeah. And I will not allow of some... Jedi mind trick Darth Vadery bullshit. All right. To screw up our quest. Yeah. Me and the dozens of people who live, listen to this show and live by this show. <laughs> and they'll die by the show when I end it in four weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, they need, they need an outcome, you know, they need a result. Yeah. They need to know who's going to be your groom. If you only got four weeks left, look, you only got a Oops. handful of people to ask. I think that's a good way to get more people to listen is just pretend like it's always going to end. Yeah. Last episode. We're moving finale. away. This podcast is moving away. <laughs> this podcast is going to New York. Podcast is moving to LA. <laughs> Book it before they're on TV. <laughs> that's, this podcast just got hired shows. to write for Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is uh, on Mark, This Jimmy Pardo podcast <laughs> is on uh, Mark Barron's Sitcom now. Oh. Mark Maron's sitcom? Yeah, I mean, I don't remember it, but he mm. talks about it. Oh, of course he does. Yeah. I, I, listen, that, I think that's another way to get some uh, some more listeners. Yeah. Tag this. Fucking. Hashtag. Start a war with Maron. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just start wars. Here's the thing. Let me ask you this question. If yeah. there was another wedding around the same area as my wedding, what would your plan of attack be to attack their wedding? Now, are you talking that you want your wedding party to be, um, you want to turn us into a militia to attack the other wedding? Yes. Great. <laughs> yeah. So what I would do is, uh, how many old relatives do you have? Enough. They go to the front. <laughs> okay. Because they go to the front. They're cannon fodder. Hell yeah. Throw get them, them in the front. Here. Get them, get them, uh, they get knocked down. Hear that, Uncle Skip? You're going down, baby. Yeah. So they charge, and then you send in the cavalry, uh, by which I mean the- uh, Cavalry? Cavalry. Look it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've heard the word once. Uh, you send in the horses. Um, you're going to you're gonna make your... I think horseback's definitely the way to go. Yeah, you're going to have horses at your wedding? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'll have a horse wedding. Great. Bruce Springsteen just put out a terrible album with a horse on the cover, and I think I'm going to get that horse. I think that horse is going to do the ceremony. I can't believe he hasn't already had a horse on a cover. Right? It's the first one. It seems like he should just always have a horse. It, he seems like a horse guy, but he's from Jersey, but he right. talks about America. And what's more free will in, in the American spirit than a, a pony? A pony. <laughs> a, a nice pony. A nice pony. <laughs> yeah, you know, ponies. A pony is just a small horse, right? I believe that is the definition of a pony, just a little baby horse. Tiny horse. A little tiny, baby horse. Well, then there's horse. like tiny horses. The mini horses. Yeah. The, that's what here's here's my perfect horse boy wedding. Uh-huh. The the reverend, the horse from this uh, latest Bruce Springsteen album. I refuse to listen to it. He's given me enough good times and inspiration and joy in my life. This last record, Bruce, I'm off. Yeah. How do I walk down the aisle? I don't. A mini horse walks down with me on its back. Oh my god. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. That's great. Mal What's Mal's, Mal on? Mal and Mal's dad. Yeah. Also, mini horses. They're both mini horses. Yeah, yeah. Now, when yeah. He, when he goes back to sit in his seat, does he have to bring his mini horse to the seat? Yeah, yeah. The entire audience also on mini horses. Wow. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. It's not going to be a very happy wedding. Uh huh. Here's why. I'm. Gonna, you're going to pretend to. Be, you're going to ask me. Do you take this man? 
Or do you take this woman? No, that's all right. I am going to ask you, do you take this man? Because I believe gender is a construct. 100%. Yeah. There you go. Sexuality is a s- f- fluid spectrum. Yeah. All right. So Ollie will be marrying you to Mal and her dad. Yeah. I wouldn't mind ma- being married to the both of them. Daryl's great. Yeah. Big shouts to Big D. Daryl. Nice. Anyway. Anyway, so I'm marrying you Keep in mind that this is at horses. my horse-themed wedding. Go right, on. Right, right. Anyway. Oh, me go on? Yeah, you go on. Okay. You ask me. Uh, yeah, so um, so I'm marrying you. Now, what kind of horse am I on? Uh, you. I think you are a horse. <laughs> awesome. That's sick. So yeah. I am I a centaur-style horse, or do I am just full horse? You're full horse. Okay. You're that brown-ass horse from this Bruce Springsteen album I'm not going to listen to. All right. He's brown. That horse is brown. It's a brown-ass horse. It's fucking browner than shit, talk. I, I think <laughs> we're getting into dangerous territory here. No, uh, I guess. No, not really. I, it's a horse. It's a horse. You're a horse. I'm You're a, a horse. horse. I'm a horse. I'm a brown horse from the Bruce Springsteen album. Yeah, yeah. And you ask me. You speak regular English. Okay, so I'm going to speak, and I'm going to be like, do you take, do you, Mike O'Keefe on horse, take this man, by which I mean Mal and her dad, both on horses, to be your lawfully wedded, what is it? What do you want to, What do you want your title to be? What do you want their title to be? Husband? Wife? Yeah. Hyph? Hyph. 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 To be your lawfully wedded hyph. Nay. To hold and to care for. No? Nay. <laughs> All right. Nay. That's a curveball, huh? Yeah. That's You're why gonna... I won't be happy winning, because I'm not going to be able to help myself from That's doing what, that. So this is where it becomes that unhappy. That horse pump. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be great. And then Mal and her dad are going to probably cry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have another crying situation on our hands. Yeah. And then you got your hands so full. I got my hands full, and I don't even you have got, hands because I got, you got your hooves full. Yeah. <laughs> All four hooves full. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. All right. So this is a real job. Um, <laughs> now, we haven't talked rates yet. We haven't talked rates. Well, first, do we have to pay for the sorcerer who will turn you into the horse from this brute spin camp? Do, hor- do sorcerers need... I'm going to be a horserer. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get kicked off of iTunes for being too dumb. <laughs> Look, if uh, we get kicked off iTunes, that's just another credit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Start selling out iTunes is ending, right? What? What is that? Do you know? What is it? What do you well, say? Yeah, I, I, the world is ending, man. All right. What does that do for us? What does that mean? Oh, cool. We'll be kicked off anyway. anyway. Yeah, we'll be gone anyway. Fuck them. Yeah, so a we'll horse or... I think, here's what I think we should become. Hmm. Mid, 30-year-old YouTubers. I think that's the play. <laughs> Oh, that's a great market. Yeah. So Here's the thing. Easier. I think there's a market for it because I think our generation is just figuring out YouTube. Oh, my God. Yes. So yes. if we do, here's what I've been watching, uh, bushcraft videos. What's bushcraft? It's where you make shit in the woods. Okay. And so you can live off the grid after the apocalypse. <gasps> not a bad idea. It's great. That stuff is great. And I'm telling you, that's what's marketing to 30 and up. I think, I think. I want to be a 30-year-old YouTuber. I think that might be the way to go. You got to get into bushcraft. I don't know if I want to do bushcraft, but I think there's something that I can. I just want to be the 30-year-old version of, like, uh, uh, just a kid holding his phone in front of his face being like, what up, world? Yeah. <laughs> I went to the bank today. <laughs> I think that's fun. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. 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 You just like talk I'm about lo- your 30-year-old day. Yeah, like I'm Logan Paul, but uh, not offensive and shitty. Logan Paul is like what fifty at this point? <laughs> I think Logan Paul is uh, a secret ninety-year-old. He looks old as hell. He doesn't look good. No, he doesn't look good. Uh, his brother Jake is also not looking great. Well, Paul brothers, you heard it here first. You're going down. We're gonna kick your old asses. Yeah, gosh. <laughs> That's what it'll sound like. This is less of uh, me finding a uh, groomsman and more of me finding a tag team partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to be, uh, we're talking a lot about fighting together. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing, though. Mm. I have said that my wedding will be violence-free. Okay. I've already made that edict. Edict is, is like a law rule. Thank you. You're welcome. For <laughs> Sorry. fucking explaining. I know what edict is. <laughs> I watch TV. <laughs> I watch court. <laughs> I watch court. <laughs> You had to take uh, – who's your favorite t- uh, TV judge? Joe Brown? Mm. You know what? Uh, judge Hatchet. Oh, Judge Hatchet. Yeah. She's good. She's good. You know what? I I thought her name was Judge Hackett for a very long time. 
thought it was like, oh, that's Buddy Hackett's wife. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, Judge Hackett. And finally, my friend was like, you know, it's Hatchet. And I was like, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but she's great. I like her because she's like, she's like nice. Like she's just kind of like she's trying to make the best of the situation yeah. while at the same time really taking people's money. It's <laughs> it's very calming. Yeah. Because that Judge Judy, oof, she's yeah, so angry. I love it. I, I mean, I she's all right. I'm just trying to go to the dentist. And wait. Yeah. You She's like, yelling in the waiting room on the TV. I hate it. I feel like she could give me direction in my life. Like I would, yeah. whose show would you rather be on if you had to take a, a court case to court? In this, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I think regular court might be the way to go. Yeah. But uh, no, I think, I think I would go, I think I'd go either Hackett or Judge Joe Brown. No, you're saying Hackett. Yeah. Fuck. I'd either go Judge uh, Hackenschmidt. Yeah. Or uh, Judge, Judge. <laughs> Hack and Schmidt. What is it? Hack it. Hatch it. Judge, I'd go Hatch it or Joe Brown. Because mm. Joe Brown is a uh, real softy when it comes to the fellas, I think. Yeah. And then, but I wouldn't want to go on Judge Judy unless I'm like 100% sure that I'm right. Right. Because when she yeah. sides with you, it's got to feel great. Oh, it's got to feel amazing. It's got to feel so it's good. It's got to feel so oh, good. Oh, I want to take all my exes to her court. Oh, yeah. She should do ex court. Oh, my God. Yeah. Not even like a money thing. Just like who's right. Yeah. Who's right? Man, I wouldn't I wouldn't go. Who was worse? Yeah. <laughs> I would not want to go. Yeah, that yeah, way. yeah. <laughs> I would not do well. Look, I'd go in thinking I was winning, but yeah. I'd come out <laughs> feeling real bad. Yeah. That's got to be the biggest kick in the gut where you go in and you're just like, listen. Melissa is going to get. Yeah. And then you come out and you're like, I am a piece of shit. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. If you listen. I should have stopped drinking way long ago. Right. Yeah. 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 Sobriety did not help me. No, it didn't? <laughs> no. Oh, man. I, I, well, I'm Oof. saying that in terms of like what I, I think it did, but I would yeah. probably realize that it didn't. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, I tell you what, speaking of sobriety. Yeah. There's a, a time honored thing that I have to ask you. Okay. Jan and Noel, you're doing great. Yeah. You're doing great so far? Thank you. This is a new format I'm trying out where it's more questions about the wedding. I'm getting uh, more into the wedding. Right. I'm getting more into actual groomsmen stuff because I tell you what, we, and everyone who's been listening to this podcast, us, this community, we need to help me get a, some fucking groomsmen. Yeah, you got to get a groomsman. I got to get down to the nits grits. We're on 36. That's the Wu-Tang. You got to choose. It's Sugar. in your hands. And, and so I'm asking uh, some more wedding-based questions, but we're also learning about each other. Look at this. But there's still some things I got to ask you that yeah. I used to ask, that I'm still going to ask because they're important and we need to know. We got to see whether you're going to be a baloney boy, gender, gender neutral No, term. baloney boy is great. That baloney is boys. how I identify. Right. Yes, of course. Baloney Thank you. boy. I, if anyone w- would appreciate the term baloney boy, I knew it was going to be Shanzi. Baloney boy. Baloney boy. Favorite brand of shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the baloney boy, the big dog, two of the best. <laughs> two of the best. <laughs> See, balo- the big dog had a big old dog on it. Baloney yeah. boy, big old dog covered in baloney. Yeah. <laughs> Just as good. Just a baloney dog. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you knew that dog belonged to baloney boy. Yeah. Because what baloney boy does is put baloney on everything. <laughs> anyway, what's your next question? His real name, Oscar Meyer. Oscar. Real question. <laughs> real question. Please, if you would be so kind as to plan my bachelor party. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Three things before we start. Thing number one, money, not an issue. Number two, time, space, location, also not an issue. Number three, whether or not I will enjoy it, not an issue. Oh, great. Okay, (laughs) now that last one really 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 opened us up. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, boy. All right. So let's talk about... uh, Gonna be in uh gonna be in Marfa, Texas. <laughs> Why? <laughs> My because I want to go there. Okay, you said it doesn't matter. That, I want to go there, but you gotta explain it. <laughs> okay, okay. It's like um, I love Dick show took place there, and okay. I liked that show. Okay, <laughs> and I wanted to see all the art and stuff. Love it. And then uh, from there, we can just start driving, and uh, we're gonna camp out and uh, uh, kill rattlesnakes in the desert. Let me tell you something. I'm terrified of rattlesnakes. So I want as many of them dead as possible. Great. That's fantastic. Well, we're going to, yeah, we're just going to have a couple of pistols. Yeah. Shooting at the ground in the desert. That's fucking amazing. Yep. That's so, 
listen, I don't like guns. I don't think they should be allowed. I don't see a lot of reasons why people should have them. Please don't write to me about that opinion. I also agree. Yeah. But rattlesnakes in the desert. That's the only way you should have them. Yeah. That's the only reason they should be, uh, they should just be called gun ki- or snake killers. Snake killers, yeah. That's what they should rename And here's them. the thing. Uh, I'm a vegan. Yeah. So uh, I will just make that exception for that weekend. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're going to eat rattlesnake. Oh, yeah. Have yeah. you ever had it before? No. Nah. Good for looks you. looks good. It, Have you had it? Yeah. It looks like it'd be good. It, uh, it's one of those things you'll see at, like, the state fair. Yeah. And you're like, this is Minnesota. That's the, not fresh rattlesnake. Ugh, <laughs> you know? yeah, God. Disgusting. I'm from the, I don't, these state fair, this, it, the Midwest the, is disgusting. It's gross. We're going to get it out of the Midwest for your bachelor party. I've been here literally my entire life. Yeah. And it's amazing that I'm, I haven't just turned into curdled milk yet. Gross. Like, I learned about cheese a, curds. Yeah. Ugh. It's just a disgusting, the cuisine is disgusting. Uh, the weather is insulting. And the people are uh, nice, but in a way that makes you think that they're going to kill you. Because I, because of your podcast, Murder Town, yeah. a lot of serial killers are from the Midwest. Yeah, they're just, uh, it's terrifying. The yeah. first time in Chicago, I was walking down the street and someone made eye contact with me. I ducked. <laughs> I did not trust it. I did not like it. <laughs> the Midwesterners that are is horrible. Amazing. <laughs> What? How did you duck? I ducked. Like how? Like, like to you the st- side. I just stuck to the side. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> good for you. It's not a good sign. I, I'm used to East Coast cities where someone makes eye contact with you. You're no like, one does. Yeah, Only like, the like worst people make eye contact. Like, with oh, you. this guy's got this guy is hitting me up for Greenpeace or whatever. Uh, no, like not this guy's gonna really. take his pants down. Yeah. Or <sighs> this guy's gonna hit me. Or or this lady's gonna throw a cat at me. Like you don't know. Just something bad. It's never the people you want to talk to. It's, but here, everyone's just. I say hi to so many people I don't want to say hi to. It's upsetting. It's just a. It's just a. Uh, ugh. Elevators are a nightmare. It's like getting hit. Saying hi to someone you don't like to in the Midwest if you're from here. It's like that thing where they at the doctor where they hit you in the middle of the knee and you just kick. Yeah. Like I can't even st- like. Elevators are a nightmare, and I can't stop myself. Like, oh, hey, what are, you, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm going to the dentist too. Beep, blah, blah. Like it just, yeah, because then a conversation starts, and you never know when it's going to end. And here's the thing: has there ever been any follow up to that conversation where those people ended up being friends? Lord, no. Can't be. No, I can't I've, be. It's like just uh, can't be. Yeah, anybody who would talk to you that much in public is not someone you, like they just gave you their whole life. Ton. What do you have to talk about? This is where psychopaths thrive. Yeah, clearly. I that mean, is. yeah. Serial killers are made here. Yeah. So we're getting out. We're shooting rattlesnakes. <laughs> we're shooting rattlesnakes. We're shooting rattlesnakes in the desert. Yeah. Uh, Man, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be dope. And then, uh, you know, we could go to Austin. Keep it weird. Keep it weird. Yeah. Keep it weird. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot all the bullets we bring, and then we're going to throw our uh, guns into the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, absolutely. And be gone forever. And, uh, I love it. yeah, that's great. So no one else can use them. Also, the cool thing is they're going to be just, uh, pistols yeah. that you have to load each bullet in like old timey pistols. Oh, revolvers. Revolvers. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The standard one you get in Red Dead Redemption too. Yeah, exactly. You're going <laughs> to each have two of those. Guns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, uh, yeah. We'll throw them in the Gulf of Mexico. There, um, is a famous wrestling family called the Von Erich family. And they were the, they were the most famous wrestlers in all of Texas. They ran Texas in the 80s, and two of them were brothers. They were all, the, the family, uh, horrible, tragic story, just riddled with drug abuse and suicide and problems. And uh, two of them, uh, Kevin and Carrie, went, uh, <laughs> they were like, all their brothers had died, and uh, Carrie was in a crazy accident, and he got his foot chopped off. And Kevin just goes, you know what? You, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Alaska. We're going to find a bear. We're going to let it charge us. We'll both have pistols. We'll get six shots. Let's do it, brother. It was like an idea they had. Killing is so stupid. Yeah, it's the dumbest. Did they shoot the bear? Uh, no, they didn't They didn't end up doing it. But that, do was that? Like, that was like the trip they were going to take. And then Carrie died. Wait, so one of the brothers died? Yeah. Be- uh- Neither. They never did this bear thing. But that was a trip they were going to take. Where did they tell this story? On TV. Was this like? Uh, no, it was in. A, it wasn't on the wrestling show. No, it was just in it was their a own documentary. A documentary about yeah. them. Dark Side of the Ring. Check it out.
if you're no. like sadness. I you won't. said no. no. <laughs> I won't. Check it out if you're not Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> but if you also aren't Shannon, check out Call Me Ripley on <laughs> that one network. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you do it. Look, I, I feel like I should be get. I, I feel like I should be nicer to you since I'm going to be your best man. <laughs> Please don't. Okay. <laughs> That's completely in that case, yeah, I don't. Uh, in that case, yeah, check out Just Call Me Ripley on <laughs> OTV. OTV. Um, we're, I, you know, that is, that of course is a uh, boy band O-Town's network. O-Town's. Yeah, yes, O-Town, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we, O-Town is now making intersectional television. Good for them. Yeah. They really are giving back. Way to turn a negative into a pot. That was their liquid dream to yeah. have, uh, that, to do that. I forgot that was the name of their song. That was making the band one, I think. Oh. Man, I watched so much terrible MTV when I was a kid. Yeah. I don't know why. I, we, I mean, I don't know. I didn't have cable growing up. Oh, really? But uh, at you, friends' houses, we would just always watch. You just put it on. Yeah, I forget, like, the uh, um, all those, like, made-for-TV VH1 movies. Oh, man, the about, one, there was, uh, yeah, yeah, the one with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Or it's just, it's just 90 minutes of little kid Michael Jackson getting the shit kicked out of him. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Rough. yeah. Messed up. Yeah, there was an MC Hammer one, I remember. I'll tell you what, the worst thing that came out of those, I watched so many MTV dating shows as like a 10 to 14 year old. Mm -hmm. That couldn't have been good for me. You mean like next? Next. Oh, next. next. Have you ever gone back and watched those videos now? No. It's like, uh, I mean, I guess compared to reality television now, it's kind of better. Really? Like, I don't know. I feel like it's more real. Is it a little tongue in cheek or... Ah, uh, okay. It's, it's not. It's not like good. <laughs> it's definitely not good. It just feels not as gross as current reality television. Okay, interesting. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna give next. It's, that's probably all on YouTube, right? Yeah, probably. And honestly, I I'm losing confidence in what I'm saying about it <laughs> as I say it. I feel like this might have been a fever dream. <laughs> and that you you had a you had a crazy dream. <laughs> That you uh, turned on M- MTV's next, and yeah. you're like, wow, did Martin Scorsese direct this? This is amazing. I think what happened is <laughs> I fell asleep watching um, Big Fish. Now, I'm not, that's not even a good show. I'm trying to think of, like, what was the one with the, the um, you know, the one that came out that won an Oscar with the fish Shape in it? Shape of Water. Yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah. I'll call it Big Fish. I think it'd be funny if that—honestly, if that movie was called Big Fish— and it won an Oscar still, that'd be amazing. I think you call it Big Fish 2. <laughs> Big Fish 2. <laughs> Big fish to make it out with a lady. And then yeah. And then Tim Burton had to sue them. <laughs> like, oh, Burton. Burton. So grooms these days. Grooms these days, am I right? Yeah, let's talk about grooms let's these talk days. About grooms these days. They're always getting groomsmen gifts for the other groomsmen. So mm-hmm. hypothetically, you get picked for this. You gotta buy the other baloney boys a gift. I I'm I wanna come off as a nice man. Right. I wanna be the guy that gives the gift. I don't have the time, effort. I don't want to do it. I got you. So I put you in charge of it. What are you going to get for the other baloney boys? Buck knives. Yeah. Buck knives. You're fucking weapon heavy on this. Yeah. I like it. Well, we're going to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're shooting guns. We're playing with knives. Loving it. And then you know what we do at the bachelor party? Uh, We do that game. What, you, what Mike's doing right now because... Uh, yeah, describe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, so, how do you describe this? No, for anyways. those of you who are visually impaired and can't see through the podcast, uh, what Mike is doing is the... Uh, yeah, that thing from Alien, what was it, 4? Alien uh-huh. 2. It, aliens, yeah. aliens. Aliens. From yeah. Aliens, the knife game yeah. where you're stabbing between your fingers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do that. Um, that game freaks me out. That makes me nervous. Why wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? It's upset. I saw a man... I'm it should read boy. Up. I saw a boy stab his hand with a pencil playing that game. When? As a kid. Oh, that would have fucked me up. Yeah. I never saw it. I never I've never seen anyone get stabbed. You've never seen anyone uh, anyone get stabbed. Do you wanna do you wanna go see someone get stabbed later? <laughs> hey, look, we have an extra night for your bachelor party, yeah. so what we're gonna do <laughs> We're gonna go somewhere and find someone who's getting stabbed. Whoever whoever Kills the least amount of rattlesnakes. Mm-hmm. The person who kills the most amount of rattlesnakes gets to stab them for my enjoyment. Yes. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Yeah. This is like. Oh, so we're talking you're having another groomsman. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's. I See, part of the show is that I have to have an equal number of groomsmen that Mal has bridesmaids. And how many bridesmaids? She's probably going to have about 30. I don't know. Ah. So many. It's never less than seven. 
Okay. Because I've been to so many of these friggin' weddings with Mal, and the the bride always has a million bridesmaids. You know what? Um, a million of them. And the groom uh, has two guys, and one of them's usually the bride's brother. And I think that's a little sad for the for the groom. So you want to have it evened out? Yeah. All and right. the only way I can do that, the only way I would be able to amass that amount of friends is by doing a podcast. For sure. <laughs> the only way to do it. Do you? Okay. So now, normally, if I was going to be a groomsman, I would want to be the only one. Yeah. Um, but for you, because this sounds very sad. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, yeah. I will, I'll be the captain of your groomsmen. You'll be the captain. I'll be All the right. captain. Okay. Uh, I will captain your other groomsmen. You're going to put a hat on? Yes. Oh, I love it. I'm going to be a horse <laughs> with a tri-cornered hat. That's, all of this is perfect. Great. This is exactly what you dream of as a little boy when you're thinking of your wedding. Now, how do you think this is going to, does Mal like horses? Ah, not really. Okay. <laughs> She's going to love it. But you got to make some compromises with weddings. Yeah, of course. You do. That's the that's the name of the game, I think. It's yeah. compromise. Yeah. It's gonna, you got to compromise a lot. What sort of stuff do you have in your uh, registry? I don't know. I don't have one yet. Mm-hmm. Not engaged. Mm-hmm. But I think you just stumbled upon a new question. Yeah. What are, what are five items? Let's do three. What are three items I need in the registry? Aaron, write that down for next time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. All right. What a, what a great stumble. Do you already, you're going to want a new crock pot. Yes. Yeah. Assuming you got to already have one. So what you're going to want, because <laughs> you got to gift your old crock pot. I do look like I make a lot of crock pot You look pot like stuff. a crock pot. You're not wrong. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I you look, look like a <laughs> You look like a full crock pot. So uh, if they remade Brave Little Toaster with a crock pot character, <laughs> just gonna, just, they're just going to sketch me with little arms. Like, it'd be if the Brave Little Toaster took place in Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Brave Little Crock Pot. <laughs> just running around with cheese curds in it. Hey, Toaster, when do we get to get to watch the game? <laughs> oh, geez. We're just going to go down here to the uh, pit. <laughs> the pit. I don't know what that movie was about. Oh, me um, either. I think there was a pit involved, though. Uh, it seemed it was like scary. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was. So anyway, oh, you're gonna you gotta, you gotta put a new crock pot. Uh, I, you know, it's always good to ask for some bedding because you don't know. Yeah. Like it's it's nice to have new bedding. Um, Who knows what we're gonna get into after the wedding, too? I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> You leave it. I, I'm leaving after the wedding. You know, as soon as you walk down the aisle, as soon as I shepherd everybody. I mean, we got my eat pizza in bed. You wake up what? We might eat pizza in bed. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I don't know. I hope you have sex, but uh, yeah, you're going to want, for whatever you do after a wedding, eat pizza. Man, I feel like you got to go. I feel like you might need a sex ed class. What? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I went to all boys Catholic high school. Zero sex ed. Yeah, you honestly. definitely need a class. Not just. They, here's what. Here's sex ed in all boys Catholic high school. You have a health class, mm-hmm. which is just about how to get buff. And then one day they show you a picture of gonorrhea and that is it. Wait. Yeah. It's about how to get buff? Yeah. Like I went to a very like athletics first high school. Wow. And it was our health class was just about if you want to if you want to gain muscle mass, yeah, you, you have this. Damn, I wish that we had. That would yeah. be. I would have stayed in school for that. Yeah, <laughs> just well, to learn how to get all buff and stuff. Yeah, we had a substitute like a, a, a for a whole year. We had a fill in sex ed or like health class teacher, mm. and she was very young, just out of college. And okay. all of I swear to God, her whole stories were just all about um, drinking in Tijuana. Oh, my God. And, like, about you shouldn't drink too much because one time in Tijuana, and then she'd tell the story. Man. Yeah. What were some of the—I don't want you to tell me any of the stories. Well, I learned what a, a belly shot was. Interesting. Yeah. I thought that—you could have said so many other different things. I know. I know. Belly shot. Belly shot or I whatever. That. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, that. I think that she was keeping it nice for the ninth graders. Good for her. Yeah. Yeah, good for her. But it was literally— uh, it was literally, hey, if you, uh, if you have carbs before you work out, then you'll have more energy. Also, here's a syphilis butt or whatever. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was that bad. <laughs> wow. They showed us a syphilis butt. A syphilis butt? Yeah. Now that's what I got to add to that pride photo. I was about to say, yeah. that's going on the top of the two butts. <laughs> yeah, there's a third butt on top. Yeah. That's a syphilis butt. Yeah. Uh, a tri butt. A tri butt. The, the top one with syphilis. Sounds like something out of Dungeons and Dragons. And we throw out female condoms. Yes. 
Exactly. It's the way to do it. Boo. Yeah. I mean, not... Thumbs down. Be safe. Be safe. Safety's number one. Safety's number one. Safety's number one. Just, uh, uh, if you have access to it, I the IUD, great. thumbs up from me. Condom, go for it. Condom, great. Female condom? Not so great. Windsock. Windsock. <laughs> no, that's what you, that's the third thing you want on your gift registry. Flying? Going on an airplane? Windsock. Windsock. <laughs> you got to know what direction the wind, ooh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Now, after after you get married, are you planning to live uh, in the city still, or what's your deal? yeah? Okay. I don't think we'll ever. I I think the goal is to not leave the city, whether that city is still Chicago or a different city. That is to be seen. Yeah, but it's definitely I. We're not gonna go to the suburbs. Okay, so you don't want any yard stuff. Well, I might though, because there's yards. In, you can have a yard in Chicago now. Yeah, not yeah, they just one. they just started adding yards. They just to started Chicago. adding yards. To Chicago. They're knocking down buildings and putting up They're yards. Putting up yards. Yeah, get it's out of here. Group building. On. Yeah, <laughs> and they knocked down Groupon and put up a yard. They put up a giant yard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'll take some yard stuff. Okay. But yeah, but I don't need it. You can ask yeah. for a grill. I got a grill. You got it. All right. I I have a grill, but here's what I need. Here's what I'm gonna need. Mm -hmm. Bigger grill. Yeah. Okay. Bigger grill. Do you, do I have you a, right now I have a perfect two person grill. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need like, you know, not because I'm, we're like going to plan to have a bunch of kids and have a family band. I just want a bigger grill. Family band. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger grill. So you, you could ask, you know, those group gifts where you're like, you put in a little bit of money towards it. Yeah. And that's the whole gift. Yeah. Just put in for a grill. I love it. That's great. I mean, and then you just, you. You know, I think you got to hedge your bets that way. If you really want that grill, you got to ask for less stuff so people are more inclined to give to that grill. I think that's a great idea. I don't want to, you know, I don't need to put a trash can on there. I do need a grill, though. Why would you think a trash can? Uh, I saw that on one once. You saw a trash can? Yeah. Wow. I feel like that is just not, uh, that says a lot about a I person. They, I think they ran out of ideas. Yeah. And I think they were also making a prediction about the rest of their marriage. Mm hmm Going in the trash. There you go. It's a great groomsman gift, though. A trash can? You're going to give out trash cans? No, no, that's a great groomsman gift. You said 20 minutes ago. Buck knife, great groomsman gift. Yeah, no, I... Uh, <laughs> the thing we originally started. Look, I think we need to talk about <laughs> giving out trash cans to your groomsmen. I, think I, don't, I don't think, think you want to bring it. that... Don't bring that up to them. They're going to feel like shit. They're going to feel like trash. They're going to feel like trash. <laughs> uh, if, you give out, if you give out trash cans to your groomsmen... I'm going to make a separate order to give out buck knives. Okay. Because I'm going to say, look, um, Mike was drunk last night. <laughs> he ordered a bunch of trash cans for everybody. It was a joke. Here's your knife. It's a joke. It's the worst joke he's ever made. It's, it doesn't even make sense. Something. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Don't think about it too hard. You can't. Yeah. So I, I have a couple more things to ask you. Yeah. We've talked about the other groomsmen, and mm -hmm. they, they're, they're in play. Hypothetically, if you could pick... Let's go with four other groomsmen from from any time, history, whatever. Who do you got? I'm still a groom. You're yeah. still you're still a groom. We can't, I'm still a groom. We you're, can't you're compromise on you being the groom. That's kind of the premise of the whole fucking show. <laughs> we can't we can't even think about substituting. Not at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. Nope. We're not talking. <laughs> I feel like I know twenty better groomsmen. <laughs> Well, right. I'm, I'm the, no, I'm the groom, fair. but there needs to be... I mean, groom. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, no, okay. no substituting groom. Okay, in that case, well, we know Shakespeare won't be it. <laughs> no. That guy's out. Of, he's actually banned from the wedding. Yes. He's banned from the wedding. Don't want any time-traveling Shakespeare's. Uh, okay. We're going to have um, Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> ah, she'll be <laughs> singing in the back. I'm rolling on the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, are we talking uh, all all real people or who do you fictional to? Sure. Anything. Anything? Free, 100% freedom given to you. Cool. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Um, We're going to want, man, Chewbacca would be cool in there. What? Oh, my God. Who would, who would be? I think Chewbacca, if you're going all-time groomsman, possible groomsman Mount Rushmore, I think Chewbacca is probably on there. Yeah. What a second fiddle. 
I mean, so like, yeah, okay. Now we're talking second fiddle. That's a. Gr- we're just gonna have the yeah. second in command. To, we'll have second um, in the fiddle, first in my heart. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Mm-hmm. We got Chewbacca in there. Um, we're gonna have uh, uh, the the starfish from SpongeBob. Patrick. Patrick. Uh, we'll have. I uh, uh, have nephews. <laughs> they'll, they'll, he'll take care of the kids. Yeah, it'll be course, great. Uh, he'll take care of the kids. Yeah. You gotta have one they of those. Be, they be. Uh, very enthused to meet Patrick from SpongeBob. How amazing, right? Right. Uh, we're going to have um, uh, Harry Belafonte for the older ladies. Okay. You know, <laughs> you, you won't, you don't think about it now, but it. you just wait till the wedding happens and you'll see That's how great. excited your family is. That's great. Okay. Uh, we'll get. Um, uh, you got one more. One more? Yeah. Man, this is, this is a good question. This yeah. Is a, this is a rough one. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, man. You got to get a party animal in there, right? So we're going to get uh, the, the guy that Macaulay Culkin played in Party Monster. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, you know what I thought you were going to say? What? Animal from the Muppet Babies. Oh, m- <laughs> no, he's going to be the band. Yeah, he's the band. <laughs> now there's a band nah, you could nah, afford. Nah, nah, that's amazing. Oh, listen, if there is a way to get Dr. Teeth in the Electric Mayhem to play my wedding. Yeah. I don't care how much money it is. I'm making it happen. Also, Chewbacca would love that. Chewbacca <laughs> would love it. Chewbacca he probably just, knows them. Yeah, and we'll, we'll talk to Chewbacca. Chewbacca Maybe he's Chewbacca. got an in. Talk to Chewbacca. Okay, so running it back, Chewbacca. Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt. Patrick from SpongeBob. Mm-hmm. Harry Belafonte. And Macaulay Culkin's character from Party Monster? Yeah. Okay. What a motley crew. Yeah. God, that's a good, good That's a good bunch. That's a good bunch. I like these new segments. Are good new segments. I feel good about the f- future of the show. Yeah. The 36, the Wu Tang episode. I love it. Who better to have on the Wu Tang episode than Shannon Knowles? Hell yeah. We got two more things. Uh huh. Very a time honor tradition on the show. Sure. It is now time for the ASMR. Ooh. So for for a little bit here, we're just gonna, we're gonna do some ASMR things. Uh-huh. We're gonna take our voice. This is practice for us being 30. No ASMR yet. Because Cardi B. Uh, I think we'd like for her to come on the show. Oh, look, I just, I, you know what? I, know. Uh, I couldn't keep it light for that long. I was asking I had to for do it. it. <laughs> you were asking for it. That's the that a- face of yours. <laughs> That's the ASMR minute. Yeah. And now it's time for the creme de la creme. This is, uh, this is where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. This is where the baloney boys are separated from the baloney not so boys. Great. Dogs. Baloney dogs, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna. We're gonna have Jeff. Or sharp. We got a new. We got a new Foley guy too. We used to have Greg. He's uh-huh. gone. Thirty six. The Wu Tang. The new start. Yeah. Get We're, rid of Greg. Greg's Jeff gone. Jeff is in. Jeff is in. Jeff, our new Foley man, is gonna come in. Okay. He's gonna make the sound they make before the speech at the wedding. Yeah. And they're gonna do my best man speech. How's that sound? Great. Here we go. Jeff, you want to come in here? All right. Go. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> what a start. We're gathered here today to mourn the loss of Mike (laughs) O'Keefe. Mike was a good man, very into wrestling, got buff in high school, but never wrestled himself. (laughs) We're all family and friends and some people who were brought as dates. (laughs) And we take this moment to remember the life of somebody 
who brought a little bit of joy to this world. Just a little a little spark of sunshine in a dark day. A little bit of a little bit of greens to the unhealthy Midwest. <laughs> so I, I'd like to us all to raise a glass and fart out our ass. <laughs> the man of the hour, Michael Keefe. Great. Oh, fantastic. What a stirring, inspiring. I, I almost cried here. Great. Not because of what you said. I saw a good tweet. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Shannon, you've been fantastic. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for it having me. It has been lovely, lovely talking to you. Thank you. you we, I laughed so much great. with you. And I'm very excited to watch all the episodes of Call Me Ripley. Just Call Me Ripley. Just Call Me Ripley. All the episodes of Just Call Me Ripley on my phone when I'm supposed to be doing work at my job soon. Fantastic. I think, would you suggest that being a way to do it? Yes, I would. It's, yeah. it's a perfect bathroom break. Yeah. Uh, I would encourage you to watch it on the toilet. Yeah. Because all the fart jokes? <laughs> Because of yeah, yeah, and if you're having a problem, it's like a Where's Waldo with fart jokes. If you're having a, if you're having a problem, uh, you know, knuckling one out, we got you. We got you. Awesome. But it's now time to put these lovely platitudes aside. It's now time to make a ruling, and as always, this was a tough one. Yeah, this was a this was a rough one. You you came in strong. We had a little bit of a new format. A little bit, uh, a little bit uh, back to basics. A little bit back to what we're supposed to be doing here on Buddy or the Groom: the Search for Multiple Idiots. More about the search. More about the search. And I think you did a great job. But did you do a good enough job to be one of the Baloney Boys? No, you did not. I apologize. Uh, you know what? I, I have really something apologize. that weekend anyway. I know you do. All I right. heard about it. Yeah. You're at the thing. You got to do the show. Yeah, I got to do a thing. I get it. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for the chance to. You know what? It was my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome back anytime. There's been multiple people who've gotten uh, second chances. I, don't, I, I, I see you coming back here. I see you coming back. I see you doing just as good as you did this time, if not better. All right. Well, I'm coming back hot next time. I believe in you. Yeah. Thank I believe you. in you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, <laughs> good game. Good game. <laughs> uh, hell of a game. Hell of a game. Hell of a game. And just because you didn't get the Gatorade pulled all over you doesn't mean it won't get poured all over you next time. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything that you would like to tell the people about in addition to your lovely new web series? All right. So check out Just Call Me Ripley on OTV and then also uh, Murder Town. You can find it on any place that podcasts are hosted. It's a satirical murder podcast. Um, Do you talk about real murder? No, it's a parody of murder podcast. Oh, so I see. Okay. We have all of season one out now uh, with some fantastic Chicago comedians. That sounds awesome. Um, and then season two is coming up soon. Great. I uh, forgot to tell you, and this will be a cliffhanger for the next time you're on, my Uncle Ray uh, murdered his wife many, many years ago. All right. Anyway, that was Shannon. <laughs> my name is Mike O'Keefe. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Till death do us fart. Later. Oh, 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 oh,